Looking for the best substitutions for carbs while losing weight? I've got my top five here in this video. If you wanna see how to make them, stay tuned. Hands down, my favorite substitution for pasta is a good old spaghetti squash. So to make this, you're gonna get a spaghetti squash. Um, make sure you peel off the sticker. <laughs> um, cut it in half long ways and remove all the seeds from the inside. The great thing about this recipe is it's so simple to make and it's something you could even prep like on a Sunday night and store in your refrigerator for the week so that you can eat from it. After you have removed all the seeds, I drizzle my spaghetti squash with olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder because I put garlic on everything. And I'm going to put it on a cookie sheet face down so the opening will be down um, and roast it in a 450 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's fork tender. You can stick a fork through the peel of it. So here are the spaghetti squash after they're cooked in all of their glory and you're just going to take a fork and kind of fork through the insides um, to make them the texture of spaghetti. It's very simple. You just kind of comb through them and they come up. Like I said, this is something you can serve just like this, like I will be today. I'll just be topping it with meat. Or you can store it and serve it with just about anything. I've done shrimp, I've done meatballs, I've done sausage, I've done chicken. You can literally serve this with anything you would have pasta with. Because my son was splitting with this with me this day, I did top it with cheese and stick it back under the broiler just for a little bit of extra oomph. As you can see, the rest of my family was having spaghetti with meat sauce and we served the spaghetti squash in the skin. Okay, so the next pasta alternative is one that most of you probably know about. It is zoodles or zucchini noodles. I have two um, contraptions <laughs> that make zucchini noodles. I'll link them both down below. Um, the first one I got for like 10 bucks at Walmart is one of those as seen on TV type things. The other one is actually part of my mandolin. Um, and this is the first time I'm using this one and it works just fine. Um, they both kind of work the same. <laughs> so I'm just spiralizing my zucchini here and I will show you guys how I cook it. Super simple. So in a pan with some oil, I just kind of saute my zucchini with a little bit of salt and pepper, garlic powder. You can add any kind of seasonings you want. This time I kind of kept it simple because I was actually eating it plain, but you can top this with anything you would top pasta with. I'm so excited to share this bread alternative with you guys because it is my favorite. All you need is a half a cup of shredded cheese of your choice, one egg, and a tablespoon of almond flour. You're going to mix this all together and you're going to cook this on a waffle maker. I use a mini waffle maker by Dash. I purchased mine at Target. You can also get it at Amazon and I'll link it below. So I put a little bit of cheese on the bottom and then put some of the mixture and top it with cheese so it could be extra crispy. And this literally takes five minutes to cook and is the perfect bread alternative. These are so delicious and you can customize them however you want. You could make it with mozzarella cheese and add some chopped up pepperoni to it and some seasonings and make like a pizza chaffle. You can make it so many different ways. I know people make them also sweet. I've never tried that. I usually make them savory. For this particular one, I'm actually making this for my son. He wanted a burger and he really enjoys these. So I make the chaffle and I just put a burger patty, you know, sauce and toppings that you would usually put on a burger inside and you eat it like that. Um, I've also had them with an egg. It's like an egg sandwich. You can put sausage, ham, anything you want on the inside. They are perfect for a bread alternative.
Look at that crisp. I feel like you can see how crispy they are. And here's my son's burger. He just has a burger, some spinach, tomato, mayonnaise, ketchup, and pickle. The next carb alternative I'm gonna share with you guys is carrot fries. These are also delicious. Think sweet potato fries, but not as sweet. And I think healthier, I'm not sure, but in my mind they're healthier. So you're just gonna take some carrots, peel them, chop them into a fry-like shape. And these are gonna cook in the air fryer, but you can also do them in the oven. Once you have them all cut up, I throw them in a bowl, sprinkle with some garlic, onion powder, olive oil, salt, and pepper, and just mix them up and make sure they're evenly coated. And I put them in a single layer on my air fryer tray. If you're gonna bake them, you're just gonna put them on a baking sheet in a single layer. And in the air fryer, I cook these on 400 for about 15 minutes in the oven. I think it would probably take more like 20 minutes, but they are delicious. And the last alternative I'm going to share today is just cauliflower rice. This is a spicy Mexican style cauliflower rice that I got from Trader Joe's. I do buy plain cauliflower rice. If you're interested in seeing all the different things I do with cauliflower rice, let me know in a comment down below and I will definitely make a video dedicated to that because I literally can make all different kinds of rice with cauliflower rice and they are delicious. So um, cauliflower rice is super easy because it is frozen, so I just put a little bit of oil and I saute it up and I serve it with whatever protein we're having that day or eat it on its own. It's delicious, it has the texture of rice and it to me doesn't taste like cauliflower, so it's really good. So here is my finished product with some chicken. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.